So today we are going to learn about Merth Transformer, JavaScript, hard code and uh, field to field mapping. These are like very very basic functions uh, when we are trying to hard code something or try to map something like people who even don't know about what is hard coding and field to field mapping can understand uh, what we are going to do in this session. So we'll go back to our Merth integration engine. I have created uh, one channel known as uh, TCP transformer. So this is a TCP connection. So we are only going on to work on transformers in this particular channel. I'll just click on it. I'll go to destination. As you know, uh, I previously worked on all these filters. I just disabled it for our testing purpose. So this is of no use currently. So we are going to build our transformer. Once you go into the transformer section, you won't find anything over here. So you always need to click on add new step even for the filters or transformers. When you click on add new steps, you will be having a lot of types over here. So when you click on this, most people will complain that uh, why I cannot uh, get this drop down like this. So the basic thing is like uh, we need to double click on this. Even I used to click only single time and I used to run thing like there's an issue in my laptop. So yeah, I just want to explain different scenarios everyone is going to face. So always double click on this. I'm going to explain about mapper. Before that, I need to explain some basic concepts on how HL7 transformation works. And we'll go back to mapper and message builder and rest of the things. So I'll just click on mapper. I'll just give it as hard coding. Perfect. Yeah, here uh, I just want to hard code any one of the field on the base of a requirement. Uh, so what I'll do, I'll go to MSH3. MSH3 is empty just click on it drop it over here so even if I want to hard code MSH4 just click on it drop it over here so hard coding is nothing but we will remove the dot to string and give something like a variable like a string name over here I'll hard code it as mirth and I'll hard code this as tutorials. I'll give you example tutorials. So simple, that's it. When you send any message in MSH 3.1, the output message would be Mirth over here and tutorials over in MSH 4.1. This is nothing but a simple and basic hard coding. In real time, you'll be getting different type of hard coding, like how to truncate the fields after hard coding some value and lookup tables. We'll be learning this. So I just wanted to start from very, very basic things on transformers. So let's check how this thing is working. So I just hard coded uh, 3.1 and 4.1. I'll go back, save, and uh, yeah, we'll deploy this channel. So this channel is deployed. We have two messages received and two sent already. So what I'll do, I'll just copy here. You can see it is UCD and some other number over here. I'll just copy it, and it should be not UCD and some other number. It should be like Merth tutorials. I'll send this message. I'll process it for for our understanding what I'll give it as XXX and again another field with the value of XXX this should get erased and we should get Mirth tutorials over here I'll process this message and we can see uh, the new message has been received I'll go ahead and check over here so generally I'll be using interface explorer to check things but for our understanding again even I want to make sure everyone learns this so I'll go to destination you can see the raw message is xxx means uh, the actual message which has been sent and if you go to encoded it has been encoded to mirth tutorials so the msh 3 and 4 has been encoded to mirth and tutorials yes things are working so this has been sent to this particular remote IP address and we should get the acknowledgement sent successfully. A A is nothing but accept acknowledgement. If you are good in HL7, you will be learning about all these codes. I'll be planning to do even that uh, tutorials in future. We got it successfully. I'll go back to channels and we'll do something like, yep, as we have done hard coding, we'll do mapping. Like I want to map one field to another field. So what I'll do, I'll add a new step. So for my understanding purpose, I'll keep it as mapping. Mapping uh, MSH 
return to a message mm -hmm. 11 okay so generally we will not be doing this uh, at all we will be mapping different fields on the requirement but it would be easy for me to explain to you I am using this so what I'll do I'll go to the MSH and I want to map MSH 10 to 11 so I'll just go to MSH 11 I'll just drag it over here again as is a function we are not using any functions I'll remove this and I'll keep equal sign and I'll go back to MSH 10 and I'll drag it over here so again I'll be removing this, this dot to string that's it so what are the details which are in MSH 10 that will get mapped to MSH 11.1 let's test this I'll go back save it deploy the channel perfect it has been deployed so I want to do something so this is, would be MSH 9 so what I'll do uh, I'll use something like 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 here. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. My MSH 11 is one of the version, processing ID 9.9. .9. So that will should that should get changed to 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. I'll just copy it. I'll paste it over here and send the message. So here you can see it is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 here, MSH 10 and 9.9 .9 in MSH 11. So even this should get changed to 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. I'll just process it. You can see this will change it to 4. After refreshing, perfect. It has reached a destination. I'll go ahead and check in the destination. Yeah, you can see it is yeah, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 here. This is a message which you sent. And if we click on encoded, you can see the results. The MSH 11 is also changed to 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Here it is 9.9. .9. Here it is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 and you can see uh, this has been sent to the remote address and the response if you want to see it in the interface explorer those who are already practicing it from the day one tutorial which i have shown you can see uh, the differences over here in our last message we converted like we mapped msh 10 to 11 perfect this is working without any issues and we are going to learn about more uh, transformer javascripts in the future tutorials we'll be looking over to it and please make sure you will be getting a lot of errors while we're doing this. Please comment on it. I'll be happy to help you out. Thank you.